Ooh, look at this. It just stopped bubbling. It looks so good and appetizing. Hey guys, Daniela here and welcome to my keto cooking channel where I bring you the best keto recipes for you to enjoy on a daily basis. And today I'm actually going to be using a Zephyr summer squash that my friend Tina gave me from her garden. And it's such a beautiful, beautiful vegetable, like look at this, that I needed something special to make with this baby. So for the first time I'm gonna be trying Zephyr zucchini au gratin. Au gratin used to be one of my favorite dishes before I started keto. So I decided to make my own mixture, use this instead of potatoes, and see how it tastes. So let's try it. And as always, guys, please like and subscribe so that I can continue to bring you amazing keto dishes that you can enjoy on a daily basis. Like and subscribe. For this recipe, you're going to need one tablespoon of butter, three ounces of Parmesan cheese, half a pound of ground turkey, one pound of summer squash, a third a cup of heavy cream, a quarter of a cup of shredded cheese, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and salt and pepper to taste. Let's get to it, guys. We're gonna start by preheating the oven at 400 degrees. We want to cook the ground turkey so that it's a little bit brown. And forgive me, but this is still a little bit frozen. Um, I got it out of the freezer, so I'm just gonna be mashing it down with my spoon. <laughs> So we're gonna start by grating three ounces of Parmesan cheese. This right here is Parmigiano Reggiano that I just had. Um, any Parmesan cheese will do. You can even use the already grated one, but I just have this, so I decided to use it. Fresh is always best. So before continuing, I'm actually going to um, melt the tablespoon of butter so I'm just gonna do it in the same dish that I'm gonna be baking just because just why dirty another one so I'm gonna melt this very well now I'm going to be putting all of the cheese in the dish there goes the cream there goes the garlic and one cup of water I'm gonna mix this well. This is my first time that I'm making this recipe and honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna need more water because I do want a good uh, sauce that will cover everything. Another half a cup of water because I think it was um, necessary so that uh, all of the vegetable will be submerged. I'm gonna be putting a little bit of salt. So we're gonna wanna Cut our squash in not too thin slices, but like that. Ooh, ooh. Let's see if I can get it. Something like something like this. I run that thickness. Not too thin, not too thick. You know what, I decided that because these slices are really big, I'm going to be cutting the really big ones in half, only to make them easier to cut through, but these smaller ones I'm just gonna keep that same size. All right. So I'm gonna make it like lasagna style with um, the in layers, so I'm gonna put this in first and then I'm gonna put the ground beef and then I'm gonna put another layer of the squash. So I have decided to use the ground turkey in the au gratin. Now I know I've never had it like this, but this is my dinner. It's not a side dish as au gratin usually is. This is my, my casserole dinner. So uh, that is why I decided to just, you know, incorporate everything 
in the one dish. Otherwise, as you guys know, Aubertine is more of a side dish than a meal, but I'm making it a delicious meal. Okay, I'm gonna be pushing it down so that it gets wet with the sauce. And I don't wanna make it, I don't wanna add more water to it because I don't want it to come out soupy. It needs to be, you know, a little like saucy but thick. And I didn't add any other thickener agents, so, um, you know, th this is, th let's, let's see, let's see how it turns out. First time experiment, never killed anyone. And because, um, this is just for extra, my, the, the quarter, um, cup of shredded cheese. It's just because I just love to see melted cheese on the top and at the end I'm gonna broil the top so that it looks a little bit, um, you know, a, a little bit toasted on top, which is just how I like it. So this, the, the shredded cheese makes it look more, more done, especially after the broiler. So I'm adding this in as an extra. I'm just adding a few cracks of fresh ground pepper. And this is gonna go in the oven for 20 minutes. And let's see how it comes out because, as I said, I've never done this before, but I think, you know, it's gonna come out delicious regardless. Oh my goodness, I had an extra one that didn't get used. Where were you hiding? Okay, let's go. Okay guys, so the 20 minutes are up and we're gonna see how it looks. It looks good. It looks good. Yeah, it looks good. <laughs> looks good. Okay, but I'm gonna put the broiler on for like three minutes. Broiler start. Okay guys, so... I am really excited about trying this one. So from the get-go, I can say that it came out way too soupy, much, much more than I anticipated. Maybe I added too much water, or maybe it's because I should have added some santam gam in it. Unfortunately, I didn't think about it at the time, and I thought it would thicken by itself. It didn't. Now I know these things happen when you're doing an experiment. But uh, let's see how it tastes. All right, so I already um, put in a little bit in my bowl. It's like piping hot. I just took it out of the oven. And the whole kitchen is because the oven was on and it's been a hot day, but let's see. Mmm. 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 Okay. All right, guys. really good. Thank you Tina for the summer squash. This is really good. Okay, so it came out definitely soupy as I said. Regardless, I perhaps I am gonna have it like a soup because this is really 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 good. I love it! <laughs> I think this was a great 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 experiment. Next time I know to add the, uh, the, the correct ingredients to make it thick and I'll probably try this again in the future with the correct thing and it'll taste even better but this by itself is just really good. I'll probably just have this broth. Okay. Bye guys. Thank you. Remember to like and subscribe. Bye bye. Like and subscribe. Okay guys, so as I said, I actually decided to serve this dish as a soup, so I just served myself a lot of the broth and honestly, the more I eat it, the more I love it. Here, my Justin, he's not one to love soups or broths and well, he's gonna have one tonight, but I want him to give us his, his reaction to this one because let's see, let's see. He, he's not one to like soups. I love soups myself, but let's see. All right, here we go. Uh, first instinct is it's soupy. It's like a soupy squash with beef. Soupy squash with beef with lots and lots of oil. It's, it's butter and um, a Reggiano Parmigiano cheese. Ooh. 
Mmm. 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 That's delightful. Let me do one with a squash. <laughs> it's delightful. Mmm. <laughs> That's a nice, that's a nice flavor. Yeah? That's a nice flavor, yeah.